Yeah. Uh, I expect them to come out, you know, with energy, come out aggressive, especially after losing uh, last week. So <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Is there any difference in the preparation for a guy like Julio? Uh, no, you got to go into it, you know, each week. Same, you know, anybody can score a test on me. You got to know who you're going up against and, you know, respect it. What do you remember about the final play? I mean, you know, that, that's in the past, but I don't really think about that. So, if we had to do it again this year, if we came down to it, I feel like I had to come down to it. What are the takeaways from week one in the final? Uh, just minimize the mistakes. We come out fast. We, we should, you know, go behind that much. And, like, we should just, both sides, like, come on fast. Come up injury, how great is it for you to have a first week? Uh, it feels real great. You know, I was going to say, I was going to be back in that week one. But, you know, came here, just worked hard. Just played each week, whole off-season. Off-season to make it back. Uh, I'm really not sure. It's just uh, it's all depending on uh, what the coach wants to do, uh, how he feels about uh, me and his uh, game plan, this, uh, this game. So we shall we shall see. Uh, I'm uh, just ready for my name to call. What's it like looking at the offense? Uh, they're they're explosive offense. You know, they establish a run game with three men. Try to get a whole bunch of deep shots with us. We know we have a nice pass game, so uh, we just got to be our, our game of uh, rushing, make sure the defense is playing play together, and then uh, all the play we play together. We should, we should be together. A lot of people on your team have been saying it's the run game, all the time. It's interesting because when you think of the South Dakota here, you think of the you can't, you, can't, you can't leave out Freeman, though. You know, he's he, he one of the top runners on the field. He's got to be prepared for him. He's going to work for us. So, like every week, we try to stop the run. And uh, after we stop the run, uh, like we focus on the last game. What have been the big takeaways from the team watching the team? Uh, I mean that they just they just we just uh, just picked up on some keys that they just really tried to establish the run and have a lot of good play action uh, shots off the of, uh, running right game uh, today explosive players uh, and, uh, and uh, Julio so we just got to be prepared uh, we do our team to do our job uh, and uh, everything else to take care of so. They give us the dirt on the Falcons. What can the team expect Sunday night? Uh, <laughs> How many times you've been asked this? A lot this week, yeah, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure. You can expect the team, uh, you know, move really fast, uh, play fast, play physical. Uh, has to, has to match our energy too. So uh, I feel like it's gonna be a, you know, a really good game. Um, just, I'm excited to watch it this weekend. Yeah. The guys on defense all say it starts with Freeman. The guys are out there running the first and foremost. What did you do from here to the um, I was actually in the running back room for like two days. Where are you really? Freeman, Freeman wasn't there. So um, <laughs> as far as the running back side, there's really nothing I can give you. I spent a lot of time you know, with the receivers, with Julio, Sanu, and Calvin Ridley. And, and those guys those guys play harder than you know almost anybody in the league. That's why a lot of people put them up there as one of the top receiving cores in the league. Along with ours, you know, Alshon and, and DJ and Nelly and all them. So, I mean, I, I put our receiving core up against their core. Anyway. What makes Julio so special from the time you were around? His knowledge of the game. Really? All, I, I told people this all week. I said, if Julio had a cannon and could throw it, Julio would be a quarterback. Because you know, being in the meeting room with him, pre-snap, like, Julio can tell you where this guy's going, where this guy's going. Like, Julio is just... He's, He's just the Einstein of the game. He's, he's one of the smartest players I've been around. You know, even being around Matt Ryan and how smart Matt Ryan is as a quarterback, Julio is just as smart. So really, it lets you know that he hones in on not only his physical, you know, skills of the game, his uh, his uh, mental skills as well. And what about Ridley? He was a second year, a second player. You know, made a lot of big plays as a rookie. So and a lot beautiful of touchdown in the first <laughs> yeah. game against Minnesota. Um, a, a lot of the times I was there, um, Ridley, he just. I, I actually forgot he was, this is his second year going in. I mean, he prepares like a vet, you know, being under the wings of Julio and Sanu, uh, Calvin, he came right in and he fit, fit like a glove. And so he prepares like a vet, you know, he works like a vet. And he just follows the lead of the older guy. He just blends right in. How would you describe their colors on this? Um, fast pace, spread. Um, 
like to get the ball out on, on the perimeter, you know, things like that. So you just got you just got to know where everyone is and make sure you know where you know where, where the wheel is. Especially. What do you think? What do you think is to be the biggest challenge for the defense on Sunday night? Um, challenge for the defense is going to be them beating themselves. Uh, that's the only thing that, that can happen. Uh, I feel like I feel like the defense can, can match up really well with the Falcons. So the only way that they would beat us is if we beat ourselves. I feel like the team is well prepared and they're ready to go to work. Have the coaches uh, been picking your brain for a little you know, um, tips or things like yeah, that? Or it's, here and there. Yeah. Uh, like, like coaches always preach, uh, it's not about what they do, it's about what we do. So, you know, I, I give them a tip here and there, you know, just just a little information. But uh, nothing too serious to where I'm just like, here, 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 you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, like like I said, it's all about what we do and it's about what they do. Who did you emulate in practice? Um, I've been to do all week. I didn't even ask you about him then. Yeah. So he's like the veteran guy who yeah. you kind of almost forget, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people forget about Sanu, but Sanu, uh, he does a lot of the dirty work, kind of like what Nelly does here, you know, motioning behind the tight end and, you know, getting in and, you know, blocking the safety through through a gap. And then Sanu does all the dirty work, too. He does all the, the big blocks. You know, he'll get in Wildcat sometimes and play action and throw the ball over the top. So. You just gotta be ready. Did you get to do any of that in practice this week? Or? Uh, no, no. <laughs> they let Greg Ward do it. You know, coming from Houston, he played quarterback, so they let him do all the throwing. I'm a, I'm a lefty too, so. I, I that was just confused everyone yeah, right just there. Just so. everybody up.